Today we talk about staling mechanics while looking at Billy Hamilton of the Cincinnati Reds. Hey, what's going on, fellas? How we doing? Manny Tanella here. Today we're looking at Billy Hamilton. We're talking about some base staling mechanics. And I've watched, this isn't just for Billy. This is, if you watch any good base staler in the major leagues, you're going to see really similar footwork uh, and body work. So just like if you look at elite hitters, look at elite fielders, you end up seeing very, very similar principles across the board. You're going to see the same thing when you look at base runners. So there's a couple things here. I'll try to keep it simple for you guys. But a couple things that, you know, I see in almost every base staler that um, steals a bunch of bags in the big leagues. It's not just about being fast. Of course, that helps. Um, but you're also, if you use your body uh, properly, you'll be able to get better jumps. Um, you'll put your body in line quicker. Um, and all things that will really help you. So let's first talk about upper body. When I watch, you know, most big leaguers, Stealing bags, most really good base runners, what you're going to see is you're going to see this right arm, this lead arm, will typically punch back, and you're going to see the left arm cross over hard at the same time. So this is the, the motion that you'll see right here, and what this does for you is it gets you in sync with your lower body. It gets you in position to run as quickly as possible without having any false movements. So... You know, the way I tell our guys is basically, I say, you know, you want to think about if there's a, or you can think about it a couple of ways. You can think about if there's, you know, somebody standing behind you, I want to take my right elbow, boom, and I want to hit them. I want to hit them with my elbow, put it through them as fast as I can. You know, I've, I've, you can think about if there's a wall behind you, bang, I want to hit my wall, I want to take my elbow and I want to drive it through this wall right behind me as fast as I can. I want to do the same thing with my left arm as far as I want to cross it over. I want to punch across my body, across my chest as fast as I can. So I'm going to punch back with my right arm, and I'm going to punch across with my left arm. And again, I want to think about having explosive, quick hands and arms. So bang, punch back with my right arm punch across with my left arm. If I have quick arms and quick actions here, then typically my lower body will be going, will get going really, really quickly. Okay. So that's the first thing as far as upper body action is concerned. Um, and you'll see that across the board with most major league space dealers, the lower body mechanics. Um, now this is where there's going to be some debate. Uh, when I was younger, I was taught to do something different. Um, but that's no different than, than hitting, fielding, everything. When, you know, when I was younger, I, I got taught a bunch of different stuff. Um, but when you watch major league top base stealers steal bases, what you're going to see is the first thing that goes when this upper body, when you start punching back with your right arm and punching across with your left arm, you're going to see the lead foot pick up, get underneath them, and get in line with second base. So this is the footwork you're going to see. As that's happening, my right foot picks up, my foot gets underneath me, my toe gets pointed towards second base, and my upper body is getting over my lead foot and then position the run, okay? So again, my right foot picks up as my right arm is punching back and my left arm is punching across, and I get it gets underneath me and it gets in line to get going. Now, I will say most guys don't even think about this move, right? They just think about, and, and I've done the experiment myself, if you just think about punching back with your right arm, punching across with your left arm, and don't think about crossing over or whatever you've been told to do, oftentimes this right foot will just kind of pick up and get in position to run. Most people, your body knows what it needs to do to run properly and run quickly. And so if you just think about being explosive with your upper body, Usually your foot will just pick up, get underneath you, and then you're going to go. Players that don't do this, a lot of times play the, these natural movements are kind of coached out of players. So a lot of players are taught, hey, you got to cross over hard, cross over hard with that back foot. And it's actually a little bit slower. It tends to get you not in line with second base as fast. 
and you're kind of fighting to get across this front lead leg. Um, and that's where guys get in trouble. They almost get overcoached or, you know, they, they believe that this is a false step, right? And if you, it's the, the same thing happens in football. If you watch NFL running backs, players are taught, oh, you can't, you know, don't go back before you go forward. It's a false step. You watch uh, NFL running backs, every NFL running back in the league, the first thing that happens is, you know, one of their feet depends which way they're going, but they're either right foot or left foot goes backwards first to get in position to go forward. Happens with everybody. Same thing with base stealing, right? People think, oh, this is a false step. This isn't a false step. I'm getting, I'm actually, you know, my upper body is going. My foot is just getting underneath me and in position to run, but I'm getting a line with second base at the same time. So I'm not fighting. I'm not getting out here by picking my foot up, turning my foot and getting underneath me. Now I'm in a perfectly straight line Boom, to take off the second base. And there is no wasted movement. So let's watch Billy Hamilton go through it here a couple times in live speed. It's actually slow motion, but it's still good. So this is one of those things where I'm sure some people are going to say that's a false step. And the only reason he makes it is because he's really, really fast. But again, I challenge you to go and do the research and, and start watching the mechanics of top base tailors in the league. And you're going to see similar mechanics across the board with the upper body, with the lower body, with the, with the lead foot picking up, getting underneath them, getting in a straight line, and then going. So if you're a base dealer, um, give this a shot. Let me know how it works. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment section below. And I'll try to help you guys out. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video, uh, and share this with all your friends. Also check out our Instagram page, Antonelli Baseball, and check out our Twitter feed, Matt Antonelli 9, where we're posting videos all the time on all different aspects of baseball. And uh, also check out the description box below. I put a bunch of links to um, and different books I've been reading lately or I've read in the past. And also some training tools that we use with our players or I've used as a player um, that I think you guys will find useful and helpful. Uh, thank you again for watching this. Hopefully you guys picked up a couple things here. It will help you with your base stealing game. And uh, good luck to all of you. We'll talk to you later.